Steve Farmhands, Fiber Reef here. So on this episode of the Phoenix 700, we're going to install two uh, dual overflow boxes. I'm going to show you which product I got. Uh, we're going to just open it up, check it out what's all in the box, and then we're going to go ahead and do the install. So with my tank here, as you guys can see, I ended up putting uh, two overflow boxes, one on each end. There was just enough room when I designed this tank because it was 700 gallons. It's over this nine feet long. So I just had just enough room on both sides to put an overflow box. As you guys see, it's against the wall, so I can't access it. So the plan is I can access it from both sides. And so when I end up doing all the mill work, I'll have little doors. I can reach in there if I have to adjust anything. So that's the, I'm gonna show you which one I went with. So the product I went with is called the, the eShopee's Eclipse Large. Um, this overflow box is made of acrylic and uh, it's rated, this one here is rated for a thousand gallons uh, per hour. Uh, I'm going to show you guys. It's a pretty cool kit. You pretty much get everything you need, even the hole saw to drill your glass if you want. So let's check it out. So this is the eShopee uh, Large. So you guys can see, it's made of uh, a nice uh, black acrylic for the front. This is the piece that goes in the wet side of your tank. And then on the back, it's got acrylic, uh, clear acrylic. This is where you can you can see uh, the, all your water flow. It comes with uh, three one inch drains. You got your two mains, and then you have an emergency uh, emergency one in case it does overflow. You got your emergency drain. So it comes with three. It comes with uh, the hole saw kit as well, so you can mark it out and drill your tank. Plus, if you look here, it comes with its own uh, template. I'll show you guys. I have one already open here. I'll show you. All right. I'll have to show you this one. I don't have my other one thing right now. But see, if you look inside, you see the two bulkheads? So this piece goes in the tank, these two bulkheads go through your glass and then into the, the clear acrylic. It looks really well built, good craftsmanship. So this is the one I went with. So it comes with everything. So you're looking about maybe, uh, I think it was like 75 bucks per each one, but even just buying the like the hole saw, you're looking at like 20, 30 bucks. And then all these bulkheads, you're looking almost like another hundred dollars. So it's definitely worth the money. It comes with the gaskets as well. So I'm just gonna show you guys this template. So they make it pretty foolproof for you to do the install. So it comes in the two pieces, wet side, dry side. And then right here, it comes with another piece. They did a piece of acrylic design so it comes with an arrow so it shows you this is your top part to go to your tank and then you can uh, either clamp this down on your glass and then you can just put your whole saw in there and it's going to help hold it and guide you through your glass so you can end up uh, doing it yourself so that's pretty cool that they send that as well so i'm pretty excited to try this out get it installed and see how well it works i think uh the craftsmanship's really really nice nice finish you guys can see all the weir holes here as well looks great and then it just your two bulkheads that come through the the back of it and it comes uh comes with a nice uh, top door as well so you can see here closes it off so it'd be even more silent wicked eh so this is the the shoppy large pretty sweet i think it's really well built with all these bulkheads it's worth like the 80 dollars so we got two of these installed today i'm going to show you guys the step-by-step -step process how it all works all right so let's go ahead i gotta get uh i'll get up in the tank See if I can get some camera angles for you while we do this install. All right, guys, have to work with me. I only got one set of hands. So here's the wet side. You see the two bulkheads? So this is what we're gonna go through the holes here. So we'll just work with me here. So we end up, we're just gonna put this through just like that. So you see how sleek that is? Look how small the footprint is. It's pretty exciting. You guys can see I have about an inch from the top. So when I go to put my other bracing on, it'll be hidden a bit, but this way it's down in the tank a bit. So this weir can take a lot more flow from my pumps. So that's pretty wicked. And then, you, uh, so you see on the, see them coming through right there on the dry side. So this is where we got to attach the other box. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. All right. So on the dry side, you're going to take the two, there's two of them. You're going to put them around each bulkhead and then you attach the dry side so that was two on the one bulkhead both gaskets and then we're going to take another two put them on the other one just like that so just put your hand inside the the weir part and then we're going to attach the wet side and then put the nuts on the inside 
<clears throat> Alright, so I got the back box put on. So you can see here's the nuts. So you just you always make sure you with the bulkheads, you always hand tighten them. You don't want to use a wrench and over tight, you might crack something. So you guys can check it out. It looks pretty sweet. And then this is the the nice cover that goes on here. Let's put it the right way. On the back, so it gives it that nice clean look. So look at that, it looks pretty pretty sexy from the inside. Nice and shiny. And then we can come down and you can look at it from the sides. See that? So I got enough room. I can get my arms back in there and work on it if I have to. So we got one installed. Looks great. Let's move on to the next one. All right, so we got the second one installed. Looks great. Check it out. And it's cool if you want to see this red emergency overflow, you can take it out and say I want to move it to the far side. It's not a problem. But it's a pretty sexy system. Pretty easy, pretty foolproof. Another thing is to remember, if you have a small level, put a level on here to make sure your rear is completely uh, level. It's not, because if you, I just left it loose, but the holes are always a little bit bigger, right? So if you're, if you don't check it out, I'll just show you. Just unloosen it a bit. It, see, it tips down, so it's on an angle. So you want to make sure, put a level on that, so everything's square and plumb, and your water will flow over a lot nicer. So look at that. It's only maybe not even an inch. This overflow, it's pretty sweet. Can't wait to get some water flowing through it. So we're one step closer. So you can access it through there. Lots of room. Do all the plumbing down. I also can barely see it. It's nothing, a great big piece of acrylic sticking into your tank and taking up all that real estate where you could be, uh, you know, growing different corals and it's not going to stop flow and stuff like that. So it's very sleek, very nice system. And I'm hoping it's going to be really quiet as well. So that's the eShopee Eclipse Large. This one's a uh, thousand gallons per hour. So I got enough here for 2,000 gallons per hour in this tank by having two overflow boxes. And that's what I could go with. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and you learned a little something. So definitely check out this product. It seems really good. All right. So thanks for tuning in this week. I really appreciate it. Please subscribe and hit the like button.